Abandoned Penhale Military Training Camp. The New Migrants Home. The ever-increasing desperation of the people being held in army barracks and other similarly inhumane locations, including prisons where several hundred are now confined to their rooms 23 hours per day, is documented widely at the present time. There is some pushback gaining momentum, both to the current containment of people in these near or actual prisons, and to the Home Office plans to open further such places. The mainstream media's silence on the issue is deafening, their failure to report the truth leaving the public in the dark. At times, the reporting is downright inaccurate, robbing the people of their ability to make informed decisions. Those who rely on the Daily Telegraph or the Times for their news and sense of what is important, will be left unaware of the crucial issues, debates, and facts that are taking place. This is a disservice to democracy and a betrayal of the public's trust. Nigel Farage, in this op-ed, calls for drastic action to be taken to protect the UK's borders. He argues that the government's failure to stop illegal immigration across the English Channel has reached a breaking point, with a record number of 10,500 illegal immigrants being recorded arriving at the port of Dover alone. Farage states that this is just the tip of the iceberg and there are likely hundreds, if not thousands, of others who have entered the country undetected. He claims that it is time for the UK to shut its borders to these people, as the British public is fed up with the government's inability to protect their borders. Nigel Farage's rhetoric reeks of disdain and intolerance as he labels individuals seeking refuge as illegal immigrants. He asserts that these people are a burden on taxpayers and should be grateful for the inhumane conditions in which they are being housed. He states that these asylum seekers, who have fled war-torn countries, are protesting about the conditions of the former army barracks where they are being held, and that they are expecting luxury accommodations. He goes on to argue that unless the UK refuses to accept people who cross via this route, the influx will continue. This claim is not supported by any source and contradicts the Home Office's own stance that nearly all of these people have valid asylum claims. Farage's callous conclusion is that it is time to adopt the measures used by Australia and turn the boats back, revealing a complete lack of empathy or humanity towards those seeking safety. According to government figures, four people have been leaving the Napier Barracks facility in Folkestone, UK every week. Nigel Farage, a politician, has stated that this is a potential national security issue and implies that these individuals are in the country illegally. However, there is no fact-checking provided for this claim. Bridget Chapman, a coordinator at Kent Refugee Action Network, has stated that most individuals arriving at the facility have strong asylum claims and that it is concerning that they would remove themselves from the process. A Home Office spokesperson has also provided a statement, saying that the government is working to fix the broken asylum system and that they will seek to stop abuse while also being compassionate towards those in need of help. Anyone who flees the facility will have their details handed over to the police and a specialist tracing team, who will attempt to track them down and may reject their claim.